I'm Bobby Lee from Square. Today I'm going to walk you through our gift cards API. First, I'll show you how to order a gift card using the orders API and then pay for the order using the payments API. Then we'll create a digital gift card and activate it with an initial balance. Let's get started with ordering the gift card in our API Explorer. When in the Explorer, double check you're in sandbox mode because we're just testing things out. Set the API to orders and the endpoint to create order. First, set your access token. Then generate an item potency key. Set the location ID to whichever location you're wanting to test. Then scroll down to set your line item. Set quantity to one, then open base price money and set the amount to 2,500, which is $25 in cents. And set currency to USD. Then set item type to gift card. And lastly, let's give it a name. How about groceries? Now run the request. Save the order's ID because we'll need it to pay for the order and to activate the gift card. And then save the line item UID because we'll need it when activating the gift card. Cool, now let's create a payment for that order. Change the API to payments and endpoint to create payment. Set the amount money to 2,500 in USD again. Generate an item potency key. Set the source ID to Sinon Cardnots OK, which is a test credit card payment token provided by Square. Then scroll down, set the location ID again, and then scroll to the order ID field and paste in the order's ID from before. Then run the request. As you can see in the response, the payment status is now set to completed because the order is now fully paid. Okay, now on to creating the gift card. After the buyer pays for the gift card order, you will then create a gift card using the gift cards API and activate it with an initial balance using the gift card activities API. So let's do that now. Back in the Explore, set the API to gift card and the endpoint to create gift card. Set the gift card type to digital, generate an item potency key, and again, choose the same location. Run the request and see the gift card state is now pending and the current balance is zero. Copy the ID from the response. You'll use this in the next step. Now let's activate the gift card. Set the API to gift card activities and endpoint to create gift card activity. Set the gift card activity location ID, set type to activate, then click activate activity details and set the order ID and line item UID. Finally, scroll down and add the gift card ID from the previous step and generate an item potency key. Okay, cool, run the request. Now to confirm the gift card balance is $25, set the API to gift card and the endpoint to retrieve gift card. Paste in the gift card ID and run the request. Awesome, this state is now active and the balance is $25. Okay, last step. Let's talk about how to deliver your gift card. When digital gift cards are created using the API, you are responsible for delivering the gift card to your customer. You can display the information on your application's website or send the information to the recipient. For example, when digital gift cards are sold using Square First Party products, Square will email both the seller and the gift card recipient. The email provides gift card information, including the redemption code, a 16-digit gift card account number that buyers use to make purchases with the gift card, as shown in the following example. And that's it. We went over how to interact with the gift cards API using our orders and payments API. I showed you how to create, pay, and activate a gift card. Then, how to view gift cards in your sandbox seller dashboard. And lastly, we covered how to deliver a gift card to a customer. If you have any further questions, let us know in the comments. Happy coding.